The most important relationship you can ever have is actually the one with yourself. And that's why it's so important to learn what it means to put yourself first. You see, there's actually a lot of relationships that stem from you that have nothing to do with other people. For instance, virtually anything that you have a connection to constitutes a relationship. So if you're thinking about putting you first and what does that look like, well, let's look at the other things other than people. How do you treat you? What is your relationship to your schedule? Are you a slave to your schedule or do you set your schedule with power and with care? And, and how about your commitments? Do you overcommit? Do you give yourself the opportunity to actually review and make revisions to the commitments that you've made? You know, some of us, I used to be one of these, not anymore, but I was guilty of saying, well, if I've made a commitment, then if it kills me, I'm going to stay true to that commitment. And the truth is, there is a fine line. It's not about being, being dishonest or, or not being trustworthy or being irresponsible, but you have to have a responsibility to yourself first. So when it comes to your schedule, when it comes to commitments, those are just two areas right there where it actually pays for you to be able to put yourself first and look and say, okay, well, I'm setting these things up. What is the proper schedule for me to set up? I mean, we hear all this stuff about multitasking. What about single tasking? There was a time when you could go to the grocery store and if that was the only time in your day that you didn't get bothered, you know, pre-cell phone era, you could actually just focus on the fruit and let your mind run. Single tasking is so important. You have to take time for that. So when you think about the relationship that you have with yourself, remember that you teach others how to treat you. And if everybody around you learns how to treat you by watching how you treat yourself, what are you telling them to do? What are they learning? and how are they going to proceed based on what they see you modeling with you.